Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday, coming at you with a dual case break of 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football dual blaster case break. 40 boxes total, random team break number one. No vet common ship in this, but all the good stuff does, of course. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And uh, congrats again to the people who won their spots in those uh, filler breaks. Always look out for those on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All the teams are in. All 32 teams are in. Let's do it. Roll it. Randomize it. Four and a two. Six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Daniel down to Eric. Four to two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we got the Cowboys down to the Rams after six. All right, Daniel, Dallas Cowboys, Brian with the Packers, Allen with the Bengals, Gail with the Broncos, Dylan with the Chiefs, Brandon with the Browns, Aaron with the Jaguars, TJ with the Texans. Freddie, you got the Vikings, Brian with the Bills, last spot mojo, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Andrew, Saints, Anthony, Seahawks, Sean Maddock with the Bears and the Colts, Brandon with the Washington football team, Kenton with the Ravens, Paul with the Falcons, TJP with the Lions, Miles, Cardinals, Brian, or check that, Kevin Crouch with the Buccaneers, Sean Peterson with the Patriots, there's Brian Crouch with the Carolina Panthers, Robert with the Giants, Brian with the Steelers, Fuad with the Jets, Kip with the Chargers, Daniel with the Titans, Oliver Smith with the Dolphins, Ryan with the Eagles, Sean M with the Niners, Robert with my Raiders, and Eric J with the Los Angeles Rams. Let's sort by column B. We're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that dual case break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. We had a, a couple Brian's trading here. Brian with an eye, Brian Watford, is out of the Steelers spot and now in the Carolina spot. We'll put T there for trade, and Brian Crouch is now in the Steelers spot here. We'll put T next to their, uh, next to the team name for uh, for trade. And now let's print and rip 40 boxes. Big thanks everybody for getting in on it. You see both cases right there on the top camera. I'm actually gonna put, let's put this case back here. I think you can see it on this camera right here. We'll get this bottom case started first. All right. Now each of these cases should take about 30, 40 minutes. So settle in. Got a lot of box kind of all over the place. Let's make rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. There's five right there. Alright, we're gonna open up five blaster boxes at a time. Thanks everybody. Yeah, that's right. There, there's one hollow parallel per box. So yeah, we'll see. 
we'll see 40 of them and hopefully most of them will be rookies. That's the idea anyway. Jeff Dorlak, what's going on? Who'd have, who would have seen your Yankees would pass the Red Sox? Are you saying who, who would have thought that the Red Sox would be ahead of the Yankees at this stage of the season? Yeah. I kind of feel the same way. I, here, here out west, I, I didn't think at this stage of the season that the Giants, San Francisco baseball Giants, would be ahead of my Dodgers. But here we are. A strange 2021. Usually I try to keep the, the topic of conversation related to the break itself, but since this is going to be kind of a longer break, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we can, can float around different sports topics here. Pirates are in uh, here in L.A. They're going to play the Dodgers. They're, that, that game should be starting in about 20 minutes or so. I've been actually having a decent. I was telling people this earlier. I was actually having a decent year in fantasy baseball this season. So I'm I've not quite gotten into fantasy football mode just yet. Anyone have any uh, early early sleeper picks that that that, that they want to share? David, what's up? If you get two teams in the Prism Baseball random team filler, does that count towards the giveaway at the end? Yes. Or if you already bought a team and you won a team, that counts too. Because your name would be on the list right there with the teams. It's a good question, yes. Suicide Jacks, what's going on? Uh, Joe, what's my thoughts on SGC grades? I don't know. I feel like there's like a, a, a few like third party grading services, right? I think like I think in the long run, you know, Beckett and PSA are still gonna be the, the top the top level of, uh, of of graders grading. But it I I right at the moment now, maybe my opinion will change next summer, but I I think as of now, it's still kinda early. It feels a little early. Eventually, we are. We should be able to see which service, which grading services, start to become the the dominant third grading service out there. SGC could be one of them. They had a big presence at the national this year. The HGA, I think, could be another one. Is Raekwon Davis, Antonio Gandy Golden. CD Lamb rated rookie hollow. Remember, so it's it's these commons that won't be shipping, but obviously all the rookies will ship. You know, these are these are special parallels. Those will of course ship. Rated rookies will ship. These two won't ship. And all inserts, of course, will ship. Zach Moss, rated rookie hollow. Lynn Bowden Jr. It's Jake from State Farm. There's a Tua Elite Series rookie insert for Miami. That's going to be for Oliver Smith. The Dolphins. Once again, here's the final printout right here. I don't know. What do, what do you think about SGC? AJ Hamler rated rookie. Trayvon Diggs. Uh, 
There's a rated rookie Joe Burrow. Just base. Allen with the Bengals. Or I guess another fantasy football related question. Which of these rookie players, the rookies from this year, you know, which one will have, will continue their campaign? Like, will they look good? Or they will, will they look bad? Who was, uh, who's the real deal? Who's not from this rookie class? Joe Burrow, I don't know. He got injured, so we don't really know how he could have finished his season. You know, maybe guys like A.J. Dillon, you know, showed some moments. Gabriel Davis, maybe, for the Bills. Brian Croft. What about A.J. Dillon for the Packers? Brian Watford. Maybe Joe Burrow. Maybe he'll 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 keep things going. What about Lamichael Pirine? There's a hollow right there. Doing it lies as Jeff Justin Jefferson real deal. So that's no fluke. Olm's thinking Justin Herbert will have another monster season. That'd be good for the hobby. Yeah, I mean Justin Herbert was putting up those numbers with arguably a not very good coach in Anthony Lynn. So imagine him with a, with a year of experience under his belt, a fresh perspective on that co head coaching staff. That could be big. David Rodriguez thinks Burrow will move up in the ranks. Yeah, he does have a lot of weapons. If his offensive line can just keep him upright and, and protect himself a little bit, yeah. Brandon Ayuk for David Rodriguez's Niners. Okay, I like that. Mark is thinking Herbert and Tua will look good from this draft class. If only for the fact that they both have some good weapons, good offensive weapons on their team. Holmes is thinking Tua's question mark though. Could go either way. It's a weird season because a lot of these rookies didn't really have, especially it's difficult, especially difficult for the quarterbacks, to not really have a camp. Not really be, you know, next to their teammates, kind of building chemistry and all that. Although Herbert did fine. Burrow did fine, you know what I mean? But maybe it, maybe not not everyone's the same. Maybe, maybe Tua does need a little more of more of that active team building together to really get into a groove. Now, I wonder if Jacob Eason could be a buy low candidate. Doing it live saying Jacob Eason might see his cards go to the moon very soon. Yeah, Jacob Eason could, could, get, a, could get a few starts if he does well. Could probably get Jacob Eason cards, maybe even graded cards online for I can't imagine they'd be that. Well, I'm sure they might they're probably going up now, but Tua. Tua was saying last year that he was just not comfortable. He just didn't really have the playbook down. So what they could what what they could do with Tua was very limited. But now I think he's he's supposedly on track. See the comments from Ryan Fitzpatrick. He he he, he was pretty he was pretty stunned that they made that change. He knew the change was going to happen, but he was stunned that that they went with Tua so abruptly. I mean, he handled it like a pro, but it's got to be a little jarring the way they did it. So that's a little interesting too. Who's the wide receiver drafted this year that makes some noise this season? Smith, baby. Hey, Eagles fan Jason says Devonta Smith. Is he is he healthy now? Yeah, he is. He's back okay, good, good, good. Back to practice for him. That'd be great. Devonta Smith, Hurts to Smith, could be the call all season long. Yeah, 
All right, speaking of Jacob Eason, there's his relic, Rookie Phenom's relic for the Colts. That's going to be for Sean Maddock. I feel like there's a lot of good wide receivers this draft class. It's Jordan Love rookie card for Brian Watford. Antonio Gandy Golden showed some moments. I don't know. Who do you think, Olms? I, I, I would think that maybe guys that have had... Um, like Jalen Waddle reuniting with Tua. Maybe Jamar Chase reuniting with Joe Burrow. I mean, that, that chemistry might give them an early an early edge. Which could be a good thing. So we'll see. Brandon, Brandon's not sure we've seen the Browns card. This is a 40 box break, Brandon. We got a long ways to go. I think we're barely 10 boxes in. Wait, which which one's your guy, Holmes? There's Brandon Ayak for Sean and the Niners. There's a Browns card right there. There's been a few. There's Tom Brady. Brady for the Buccaneers. Kevin Crouch. Oh, Chase. Him and Burr are going to have a real good year, Holmes is thinking. Yeah, they've got that chemistry already. That, that's got to help. It should help. There's T. Higgins. Burrow also has this guy, too. Don't forget about T. Higgins. Rated Rookie Hollow for Allen and the Bengals. There's our first Justin Herbert rated rookie card for Kip and the Chargers. Just a base version, Kip, but all of these will add up. Hopefully there'll be more. Justin Herbert, the rookies. Here, here's Tom Brady again for the Buccaneers. Kevin. There's Jacob Eason. Are we buying low on Jacob Eason? There he is. Rated rookie. That's for the Blue Horseshoe. Sean Maddock. And there's the rookies insert. Justin Herbert for Kip Kip Hooray. DeAndre Swift rated rookie. He's going to be running behind a pretty nice offensive line. TJ Poyer, maybe he has a good second year. Chase Claypool, our first two at Tungle Vailoa. Oliver Smith and the Miami Dolphins. Chase Claypool could have a good second year. Pittsburgh. Uh, Brian Crouch with the Steelers. Got the Steelers in a trade. All right, another five boxes here. Drew, are you, are you breaking the Hit Parade Hockey tonight? Yes.
All right, next five boxes, then another five, then another case. This is our 40 box dual blaster case break. Thanks everybody for getting in. Appreciate it. In a non-PPR league, who am I taking first? King Henry or CMC? Derek Henry. I feel like Derek Henry, at least, I mean, I know everyone, everyone says this, but I feel like Derek, Derek Henry wants to break some records this year with that 17th game. I think he's preparing his body and himself to uh, to to not only play 17 games, maybe break some records doing it. I think he can. I think he can do it. Yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. has kind of fallen off the map a little bit. The, the the his what his AC did he do his ACL last year or was it Achilles? But that in injury last year kind of took him off the radar. But I wonder if he's going to be a uh, a good buy low candidate this year. Yeah, there's been plenty of Vikings in this. I'm sure, we've breezed by a lot of Vikings, just not Justin Jefferson yet. We still have a ways to go. Remember, there's another, there's another whole case we got to do. Plus these five boxes, another five boxes, another 20 boxes. There's Justin Jefferson right there. See? Got to play the whistle, folks. There's Justin Jefferson. Got a long ways to go. Long ways to get to get even more Justin Jeffersons. Hollow Justin Jeffersons, maybe. It's Clyde edwards Elaire rated rookie hollow. That's for the Chiefs. Dylan Johns with Kansas City. He has a good second year. That's hashtag good for the hobby. There's Nate Stan, another Viking. And there's Jalen Hurts, rated rookie. What are these called? Are these, are these, what? Are, I'm not sure if I even know the names of these parallels. There's so many. What are we calling them? Purple Shock. There you go. Purple Shock, rated rookie, Jalen Hurts, Eagles. It's going to be for Ryan. Jeff's asking, what about a healthy Marshawn Lynch? Yeah, he's pretty healthy right now. Jonathan Taylor, rated rookie hollow. And we got a relic, Jake from State Farm, rookie Phenom's relic. start somewhere so they can be a starting quarterback somewhere. Buffalo Bills, Brian Croft. Buffalo! Because, uh, get that State Farm money. He's got to, right? Jake from State, that's got to happen. There's Van Jefferson, rated rookie, hollow. Eric J. and the Rams. Another 
Clyde Edwards Hilaire. For KC, for Dylan. Ooh, and a nice purple shock to a tungle by low. Here's Jonathan Taylor, rookie phenoms relic for the blue horseshoe, Sean Maddock. And Purple Shock rated rookie Tua Tungavailoa. It's Oliver Smith and the Miami Dolphins. Nice. And there's a rookie's insert Justin Jefferson for Freddie and the Vikings. C.J. Henderson, rated rookie, hollow. Nate Stanley for the Vikings. Another base, Justin Jefferson. All right, another five boxes. And then another case. Dodgers getting underway here. David Price on the mound. Good luck. Next five boxes. Browns really just straight trash after all those draft picks. I mean, they got they, 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 Baker Mayfield's pretty solid. They're, they're a pretty good team, aren't they? I feel like the Browns are finally, finally kind of getting it together. I guess maybe outside of Baker Mayfield, but somehow they've con they've they've constructed a pretty good looking team. At least last year they did. I hear you doing it live. I hear you. I got another case to go, man. <laughs> Don't. Uh, it'll be fine. Got another whole case to go. Deep breath. We don't start stressing until we're maybe at the last five boxes of the next case. We're only in the last five boxes of the first case. It's not stress time just yet. Grizzlebees, what's going on? All right, so stuff like this, the Dalvin Cook Hollow will ship. Veteran Commons won't ship, but inserts like that definitely will ship. And obviously, inserts like that will ship. And James Morgan Phenoms, it's a relic, that'll ship. That's for the Jets, that's gonna be for Fuad. The J E T S Jets Jets Jets. 
Yeah, maybe maybe Nick Chubb would have been more of a, a favorite in the hobby if it's AJ Dillon Hollow if uh, Kareem Hunt wasn't taking away his touches. And another Tua Tungavailoa rated rookie purple shock for Oliver Smith and the Dolphins. Congrats. Brandon Ayuk rated rookie hollow for the Niners. Sean Maddock. Jonathan Taylor, purple shock. Colts. Jalen Hurts, rated rookie. Purple shock. Ryan Heinz and the Fly Eagles fly. We got an Antonio Gibson rookie phenoms relic for Washington. That's Brandon and the Washington football team. Antonio Gibson rated rookie hollow. Ooh, Allen's looking for a little purple shock love for Cincinnati. Yeah, we've seen a couple Tua's already, and it hurts. Maybe a, maybe a Herbert or a Burrow. Purple Shock. Could be pretty nice. There's C.D. Lamb, Rookie Phenoms Relic for the Cowboys. Daniel and the boys. Cam Akers rated rookie hollow. Poor Cam Akers. It's maybe a hold on to this one for the next year, Eric. Tommy Stevens hollow and Christian Fulton. But wait, there's more. We got another 30 minutes to go. We're not done yet. No need to worry just yet. Oh, Oliver, yeah, who's in the NBA Summer League Championship? I've got I've got Pirates Dodgers on, but maybe Summer League is more exciting than Pirates Dodgers? Switch a little bit. We've got plenty of time for the Dodgers game. Oh, King Celtics. All right. All right. All 20 boxes here. We'll do another five at a time. Good luck, everybody. Second of this dual case break. Case two. So, Oliver, who's been some of the highlights in the summer league? Okay, I guess it goes to everybody. Who's been the highlight of the of the NBA summer league? What second year or, or, or rookie players have, have stood out?
All right, all right. That Zags kid, Brandon Singh. Jalen Green, right? Cade Cunningham. Some people arguing, I've heard some people argue that, that Jalen Green should have been the number one overall pick as opposed to Cade Cunningham. All Filipinos claim Jalen Green. Yeah, doing it live says he's my Filipino cousin's cousin's cousin. I don't know if that counts. Jalen Green plays like a young Kobe. That's that's a, that's a hell of a bar to set for a young player like that. What are some second year uh, basketball players that could be hashtag good for the hobby? I'm hearing uh, Peyton Pritchard on the Celtics having a solid summer league. Could help his value. Maybe second year players like Jameis Ramsey. I think I mean I think with especially with basketball with these kids you know declaring so early a lot of times sometimes it takes you know not every player not every rookie is going to just just emerge all of a sudden in their first year and become incredible some players do obviously but some players may take a little more marinated you know a couple of more years under their belt I think like Jamal Murray's a good example. I feel like Jamal Murray's first couple years, everyone was just like, "What? Okay, cool, Jamal Murray." A lot of people definitely didn't care when we were ripping open a lot of sixteen, seventeen basketball. And obviously, he's developed into a really fine player. There are some players that are like that. Yeah, Desmond Bain, maybe? Yeah, the Grizzlies could be a really interesting team. All right. Another case. Good luck. Gabriel Davis, Purple Shock. Jordan Love, rated rookie card. That's for the Packers, Brian Watford, the Gabriel Davis for Buffalo, Brian Croft. Michael Graves likes Suggs. Suggs is going to be the man. Your high school is garbage until him and Chet came along. Maybe the first RPA in basketball that you're going to chase. And this week in the chase, there's Chase Claypool. A couple of Grant Del Pitts. And another purple shock, Tua Tungvaluwa. Oliver Smith with the Miami Dolphins. Grading possibilities there. One of them might turn out to have a nice grade. Chase Claypool hollow for Brian Crouch and the Steelers. Purple Shock Grant Del Pitt for Brandon the Browns. See? <laughs> Got him, Brandon. There he is again. Grant Del Pitt hollow. Oh, just just raining Browns now. Cam Akers rated rookie purple shock and hollow. Miles, we did not see any downtowns in the first case. But maybe some, maybe we'll see some here in the second case. And still hurts to look at. Hey, listen, 
You'll you'll be eating those words when Grantel Pitt turns into a Hall of Famer. There's T. Higgins, Purple Shock for Cincinnati, for Allen, and T. Higgins Hollow. It's Antonio Gibson, Purple Shock, rated rookie. Tyler Johnson rated rookie, Purple Shock. Oh, hi. I was like, who's walking in our... It's just Nick Jaspi, ladies and gentlemen. It's Cole McDonald. Uh, there's no numbered cards in these blaster boxes. It's just parallels. And, uh, well, I think there can be numbered cards, there, but, but they're pretty few and far between. The Purple Shocks aren't, aren't numbered and the Hollows aren't numbered. I think sometimes you could find like maybe a gold parallel that might be out of 10 or something like that. But the blasters, you I thought I left a pack in there. The, the blasters are uh, definitely about the, about the hollows and the purple shocks mostly. The purple shocks I'm almost certain are exclusive to this set. Yeah, a wild Nick Jaspi has appeared. Quick, get 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 your most powerful Pokeball. I don't know what kind of Pokeball we'd have to use to capture a wild Nick Jaspi. Master Ball, maybe. A Premier Ball. So many different Pokeballs to try. We'd have to use a Master Ball. Catch you. I threw an empty uh, Donner's Optic football box at him that did not work. He wriggled away. You know, one of our customers, speaking, going back to basketball road, one of our customers comes into the shop. Uh, I think he uh, he is originally from uh, from Indiana. And he was all about Romeo Langford on the uh, Celtics being uh, someone to maybe look out for. Maybe not immediately, but is that Romeo Langford who just twisted his ankle? No, oh, that's someone else. Um, yeah, so Romeo Langford could be someone to kind of keep on the radar. Not saying you have to go out and buy him right away. I don't think he's really done much as of yet, but I don't know, it's something to keep your ears open. here. A little flimsy.
Anyone remember, any basketball fans remember when the, uh, when that first draft is going to be where it's, where high school players and, where it's the high school players can declare directly for the draft? It's not, is that 20, is that next, do you know if that's next year? Where the high school players can join the NBA draft? In 2022 maybe? It's soon. So that could be a very interesting draft class. Could be interesting for the hobby. There's Daniel Jones, and behind him is Clyde Edwards Hilaire, rookie Phenoms Relic. That'll be for Kansas City, and that's going to go to Dylan. It's KJ Hamler, Purple Shock. Jake from State Farm, Hollow. Eno Benjamin. Jalen Hurts rated rookie and AJ Dillon rookie phenoms. Relic. Brian Watford and the Green Bay Packers. I saw AJ Dillon not too long, a few weeks ago on TV uh, on a Bally's Sports Network special about him unboxing cards. There's Chase Claypool. So he's been really getting into this sort of stuff. Maybe if the NFL thing doesn't work out, or after his NFL career, come work for Jaspies maybe. There's Tom Brady, Buccaneers, Kevin Crouch, Chase Claypool, rated rookie, Purple Shock for the Steelers, Ryan Crouch. Michael P. Ryan, rookie Phenom's relic for the JETS Jets, Jets, Jets. It's uh, Fuad with New York. Ooh, wow. Downtown Patrick Mahomes. Woo! Wow. From downtown! Downtown Miami. That's exactly what downtown Miami looks like if you've never been. That's awesome. Dylan Johns, Kansas City Chiefs, downtown Patrick Mahomes. There he is. He's he's fired up. Oliver was also pointing out a... Uh, Darnell Mooney hollow. Could have some upside this year. Not last year, though, Oliver. I don't know how many times I put him in, like, daily fantasy lineups thinking this is the week where playmaker Darnell Mooney is going to just explode for over 100 yards and a touchdown. Nope. See, that didn't, that didn't work. We need better pokeballs here. Joe Burrow, the rookies, insert. Goes to Allen and Cincinnati. Denzel Mims. I've heard some Jets fans say that Denzel Mims, now that with some competent coaching, a Zach Wilson throwing the ball to him, could be a pretty exciting player right here. Jets, Fuad. And there's Clyde edwards Elaire also for Dylan. Yeah, I think, I think the Chiefs are up for trade. Apparently, Grizzlebees, they must get a pregame notice about my daily fantasy picks. And they're like, eh, Darnell Moves, I could, I could take the day off. Ooh. Both Steve and, uh, and Oliver saying, watch out, Joe. Now that Darnell Mooney has a competent quarterback, 
in Justin Fields that Darnell Mooney is going to start putting up some points. Yeah, the Tarnell Mooney press conference is like, well, once I heard that Joe Jaspi had me in his lineup, I decided, eh, I'm not going to try today. Barely have enough trash can space for this, uh, for this dual caser. All right, next five boxes. Yeah, all right. So the yeah, Kansas City were, was up for trade. Nobody wanted him. There's that, there's that infamous try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Is Chase Young a buddy of yours? Your buddy Chase Young getting no love? We saw some Chase Young cards. I'm looking for uh, some of his, like a hollow Chase Young would be nice. I wish the, I really wish the defensive player is kind of, was a little bit stronger on the secondary market, but they're all, they're kind of like, they're kind of like pitchers, collecting pitchers in baseball. Yeah, these blaster breaks are pretty good value. This sold this sold out pretty quickly for a dual case break. Sold out really quickly. I'm sure we'll we'll try to we'll try to get some more. Try to add some more to jaspyscasebreaks.com. Tell Nick to post those 20 blaster prison basketball breaks again. And yeah, when we find some, <laughs> we definitely will. Go find us. Go go find us a a couple cases of those at a at a fair price. Twenty nineteen, twenty twenty is what is what Freddie's looking for. Uh, yeah, go get it. It's in, we got some in the basketball mixer. No, he wants he wants blaster case. He wants a break like this, two blaster cases, and all that. Oh man, see now that now that everyone knows you're here, we got requests. Please post tops chrome pick your teams from Coppola. What else, folks? <laughs> Nick Jaspie's here. We do have Spectra pre-orders up. I'm sure, I mean, Friday's going to be a big new release day, so I'm sure there'll be a different set of pre-orders tomorrow, a different set of pre-orders the next day, so on and so forth. Keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com every minute of every hour of every day. You never know what's going to appear. Sometime Nick, sometimes Nick gets up early and makes stuff happen. Sometimes he's a night owl and he makes stuff happen. Who knows? Grizzle oh, B says hello. Smaller, right? Right? Or am I crazy? No, you're crazy. No, it's it did get smaller. smaller <laughs> Your dad switched it. He said he needed the one, the bigger one for all the boxes. Yeah, he's been wanting to do that for two or three years. And it finally it's happened. There should be some. Yeah, you can take that. Gabriel Davis hollows. Yes. Gabriel Davis for the Bills, Brian Croft. Especially YouTube hit packs tomorrow. YouTube hit packs tomorrow? Wow. YouTube hit packs tomorrow. 
all sorts of things happening. Zach Moss, Purple Shock. And remember, folks, um, I'll be back at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Ooh, and a rated rookie hollow, Tua Tongovailoa. Oliver Smith with the Dolphins. A lot of Tuas for Oliver Smith. Nice. All of those add up. There's a rated rookie, Joe Burrow. Maybe we can find some parallels for him, too. It's a couple base cards, though. Allen with the Cincinnati Bengals. We're on Cincinnati. Rated rookie hollow AJ Dillon. I guess I guess we'll save we'll save a Jacob Eason. In case he's a week one starter, goes off. Might be good to have. Colts, Sean. You never know. That's what's exciting about the NFL. Any given Sunday. DJ Dallas. There's a rookie's chase. We'll save a couple Chase Youngs right here. All of these will ship anyway, Brandon. Watching football team. The rookies insert. I want to see if we can get like a hollow or something like that. Just like that one. T. Higgins, rated rookie. Purple shock. Jonathan Taylor, hollow. Colts, Sean Maddock. Jalen Hurts, rated rookie, hollow. Eagles. Fly like an eagle. Ryan Heinz with the fly, Eagles fly. Time keeps on tripping, 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 tripping into the future. Is Alex Antetokounmpo is a summer league champion? Oliver Soria saying. Are all the Antetokounmpo brothers have a title? Do they all? Yes, Oliver saying all four Antetokounmpo's have a title. Giannis and another brother of his won with Milwaukee. Then his other brother won with the Lakers last year, not the year before last. And now Alex onto the combo summer league champion. I guess they all have a title. Is Alex terrible though? Who would win who would win a basketball game? Uh, three on three, the Ante de Campos versus the Holidays. Giannis and two others, two other Ante de Campos, or the three Holiday brothers. Three, three, right? Drew, Justin, and Aaron. Maybe not in that order, but who wins? You're thinking holidays in a mild upset? The Greek three, they're too big to lose. It's an interesting question, right? Oliver thinks the holidays just they're just more skilled. But yeah, I mean, the haunted combos, though, they do have that size advantage.
What about what about Oliver in a seven game series? I feel I feel like the Holiday Brothers will be exhausted battling through the big the big onto the compos. It's a lot of work. Oliver thinks the Ante de Compo is in six in a seven game series. What about what about the holidays take the three holiday brothers and the three ball brothers? Who wins? Lonzo, Lamelo, and Leangelo versus Drew, Justin, and Aaron. Oliver says holidays. Yeah. Okay, I'd probably say holidays too. <laughs> if if Lavar, if their dad's the head coach, Lavar Ball's the head coach, the Ball brothers will sweep a seven-game series between the holidays and the balls. On pay-per-view, holiday balls, holiday ball. Grizzlebees would take. Robin Lopez, Brooke Lopez, and the forgotten Gigantor Lopez. All right, final five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. There's Brian Edwards. I don't know, but Oliver said he's saying Ball Brothers don't play no D. But if they got LeVar Ball there, that's the coaching advantage there. Never loss. I'd watch that three-on-three, -three, though. Yeah, right? Doing it live today. I'd watch that three-on-three. Now I'm curious. Yeah, they should set up a pay-per-view. Do it for charity. Do it for charity. It'd be fun. All right, final five boxes working through. We got Antonio Gibson. Rookie Phenom's Relic for Brandon and the Washington football team. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. for the Jaguars. It's going to go to Aaron. The uh, hollow Michael Pittman Jr. for the Blue Horseshoe, Sean Maddock. Jordan Love, rated rookie hollow Chase Claypool, Tom Brady, Henry Ruggs, Purple Shock for the Raiders, Robert Flores, Tom Brady for the Buccaneers, that's going to be, that's going to be for Kevin Crouch, Chase Claypool hollow for Brian Crouch. Gordon Love for the Packers, Brian Watford. <laughs> yes, Oliver, your Kings are summer league champions. And there's a Chase Young, rated rookie. Purple Shock. Nice parallel. This is stuff that kind of stuff we're looking for here. Good game record here for Brandon. Another Patrick Mahomes base. And a Justin Jefferson. Purple Shock. Rated rookie. It's a nice color match. Matches the color of the team. And that's Freddie. And the Vikings. If there wasn't another Justin in the league that was a rookie, he Justin Jefferson might have won Rookie of the Year. Just for Justin Herbert. Maybe we'll find another Justin Herbert before... The last handful of boxes. Ooh, I thought that was going to be it. That's Josh Kelly. 
the last little stack right here. It's Josh Allen, Joe Reed, Nate Stanley, Jerry Judy rated rookie hollow for my rivals. The Broncos. There's a purple shock, Justin Herbert, for Kip Kip Hooray, and the Chargers. Wish there was more Kip, but I think there was a base one back there. And a nice purple shot parallel, Justin Herbert. There's Just Kidding Dobbins, and there's the Jerry Judy once again. Thanks, everybody. Pretty solid break. Let's do a quick little recap here. See, you play, got to play to the whistle. So thanks, everybody. Here's a quick little recap. There, there's a bunch of other parallels, too, but these are just some of the some of the highlights, the relics and the mainly the big quarterback names that I was just pulling. A lot of Tua's, so great break for Miami. A lot of fun relics, some Jalen Hurts's as well. A couple Justin Herberts back towards the beginning. Joe Burrows, and of course in the middle was that downtown Patrick Mahomes for Kansas City. That was pretty sharp as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.